All right, welcome to angles formed by two vertices, level one. Now, in this video, what we'll explore is what happens when we have um, just two different vertices in a problem, and they're actually going to share the same subtended arc. So right here, I'm just going to start by highlighting arc DB, and we'll see why in just a second. Now, our question is asking us to find the measure of, let me go ahead and switch to a different color to denote this, angle DCB. So what do I see? Well, I start at D, I go to C, and then I go all the way down to B, and we notice that angle DCB is right there, and of course it has that subtended arc in the red. I also notice there's yet another angle. Let me go ahead and do this in a different color. I also see this angle DEB, and I see the angle DEB, which I have in the gold, shares the same subtended arc as the angle that I have in kind of that pink, DCB. Now, what this tells me is I first need to find that measure of that arc, and then, of course, I can answer the question to find angle DCB. So, let's go ahead and switch back to this gold color, of course. And the first question we want to ask ourselves is, what is that vertex? Is it a vertex inside, on, or outside the circle? Now, in this case, pretty obvious, this is, in fact, a vertex that is outside. And so let me just go ahead and write that. Now because it's a vertex outside the circle, well we want to start out with our formula for a vertex outside the circle. And I'll just abbreviate vertex outside as VO. So my formula for the vertex outside the circle is the measure of angle 1, which is equal to 1 half arc X, if you'll recall that's our large arc, minus arc Y, our small arc. Okay, and let's go ahead and start filling things in. One, I notice the symbol for an angle is this very sharp point, and I see that my vertex forms a sharp point right there at the 37. And you'll know that wherever your vertex is, well, there too is your angle. Now then we have one half times arc X, our large arc, and in fact, we really don't know what arc DB is, and that's what we have in red. So I'll just go ahead and say, hey, arc X, arc DB, we don't know it minus arc y, which of course we do know that the smaller arc is 28 degrees. And now we simply have two steps, and of course we can get arc x by itself. Step one, we want to get rid of this one half, and we ask ourselves, well what is the opposite of one half? Well I know that to get rid of one half our trick is two. Yeah, of course. We want to multiply both sides times two, and times two. So I would always encourage you to use your calculator so you don't make a mistake here. But 37 times 2, of course, will give us 74. So I know that this 1 half and this times 2, they cancel each other out. And now we have arc x minus 28. Well, at this point, it's pretty simple algebra. What is the opposite of minus 28? We well, would say the opposite of minus 28 is to add 28 plus 28. And so, of course, you go to your calculator, 74 plus 28 would give us 102. And so I know that 102 degrees is my arc x. Now this is where I think a lot of people might make a mistake and stop. So let me just go ahead and write this in red. 102, well, oops, in red, yeah, that 102. Now we know that we want to switch to this pink color here and ask ourselves, well, you know, if that arc is 102, what is that angle where, in fact, so let's go ahead and label this, we would say it's a vertex, what would you say, is a vertex inside, on, or outside? And of course, the answer would be it's a vertex on the circle. Now, the formula for a vertex on the circle is pretty simple. It is the measure of angle 1 is equal to 1 half arc x. Now, in this case, we actually know the arc, which is right there, 102. And so we would rewrite the formula, of course, as the measure of angle 1 is equal to 1 half parentheses, 102 equals. And so we say the measure of angle 1. And we know that whenever two things are side by side, well, they're just being multiplied. And so 1 half times 102 would, of course, give us 51 degrees. And so it appears that the answer to the question, what is the measure of angle DCB, would be 51 degrees. Okay, now 
For example two, we actually want to find the measure of angle FCG. And I think the only thing that you'll notice here is that the subtended arc that is shared by both the vertex on and outside the circle is actually the smaller arc rather than the larger arc. And I understand this does look a little bit strange, but let's go ahead and make some sense of this. So, first things first, I'm going to use two colors to represent my two different angles. I see here that FCG, let me change that color, F to C to G is that angle right there. And of course, let's even go ahead and label this. Would you call this a vertex inside, on, or outside the circle? And of course, in this case, we call it a vertex that is on the circle. And of course, that gives us a specific formula to use later. Now, going ahead and switching to this kind of more golden color, we also see this angle formed by a D to E to B. And we know that angle D, E, B is this vertex right here. And of course, what would you call it? Is it a vertex inside, on, or outside the circle? And this one, of course, is a vertex that is outside the circle. So, we kind of see that our angles and our arcs really fall more with this golden section. And so let's go ahead and use that formula first. So I know that the formula for a vertex outside the circle is the measure of angle 1 is equal to 1 half arc x. And ask yourself, what is arc x? Is that my large arc or my small arc? And of course, arc x will always be our large arc. And arc, r, arc y is our small arc. Now, let's go ahead and fill in the things we know. We see at the vertex, or aka the angle, we have 22 degrees is equal to 1 half arc x, our large arc. And actually, you know, I made a slight mistake there because we actually know what our large arc is. We know that the large arc is 84 degrees minus, and the thing we don't know is our small arc. So I'll write arc y. Now, this still involves the same first step as what we did previously. We ask ourselves, how can we get rid of one half? What's our trick? And of course, the opposite of one half is to multiply both sides times two. And remember, when I multiply by two on the right side, it of course cancels out that one half. And I highly encourage you to scratch that out. Now we know that two times 22, of course, that's pretty easy. That will give us 44 equals 84 minus arc y. Now this one looks a little bit different than things that we typically see. So our first question is, what is the opposite of a positive 84? And we know that the opposite of a positive 84 is a negative 84. And so we're actually going to subtract on the right side. Well, what we do to the right, of course, we have to do to the left. And so we know that 44 minus 84 will give us negative 40. We have our zero pair, which equals negative arc y. Well, you might be asking yourself, can we have a negative arc? And actually, we see that since both sides are negative, well, if both sides are negative, they're actually both positive. And we see that arc y is actually 40 degrees. I'm going to switch in red so I can write that. And we say, okay, well, that is right there, 40 degrees. And then that brings us to the question of, you know, what is this angle where we have our vertex on the circle? So I go ahead and write out my formula for a vertex on the circle. The measure of angle 1 equals 1 half arc x. It's a simpler formula. And we ask ourselves, hey, you know that 40 degrees, is that an angle or an arc? And because it's on the curved section of the circle, we actually want to go ahead and plug that in for the arc. And essentially, when you write 1 half parentheses 40, you're just saying, what is 1 half times 40? Or AKA, what is half of 40? And so we see that the measure of angle 1, 1 half times 40 will give us 20 degrees. And so, of course, I can go ahead and write that in there, 20 degrees. And that is, in fact, our answer. All right. We'll pause the video if you need to go ahead and finish writing down these notes. I hope that this helped you out.